Thank you for joining us as we introduce you to Jagged Alliance 3 on console. Jagged is a turn-based tactical RPG with open-world gameplay. During this video, we'll show you just how easy it is to play this game with the controller, while showcasing various aspects of it at the same time. Hope you're ready to hire some mercs and make some money. Let's get into it. First up is showing you how effortless it is to move through the environment and command your mercs. Using the left and right sticks will allow you to pan, rotate, and zoom in and out. You can cycle through your mercs by hovering over and selecting each unit, or by pressing R1 and L1. Want to inspect a specific merc? Pull up their info by holding L2 and pressing up and down on the D-pad. You can also hold L2 and hit R1 and L1 to cycle through your squads, and can quickly select all mercs in a squad with square. Giving move orders is pretty straightforward. Send a selected merc to a location by hovering over and pressing X, or holding X to move the entire squad. When cycling through mercs, if you keep the left stick active, it will keep the camera from moving to the selected merc. You can also quickly change their stance using the L2 and up or down on the D-pad to take full advantage of cover or stealth. Any other action can easily be performed by pulling up and cycling through the action bar using left and right on the D-pad. With the basics out of the way, let's see what some of the locals of Ernie Village have to say. I saw you handle those Legion thugs. Conversations can easily be started and navigated using the right stick and the X button. We will deserve a machine gun. Looks like there might be a machine gun to snag from the bunker in another sector. So, giving it to the locals or keeping it for ourselves is up to you. Jagged Alliance 3 has a lot of things you can do. We've made it easy to jump quickly to any area of the game you like via the command menu by pressing triangle and selecting where you need to go. For now, let's jump over to the AIM website and hire us a Merc. Selection is simple, using the D-pad or left thumbstick and following button prompts. Looks like we're gonna bring blood along with us. Blood here. We've put a lot of effort into the controller experience, so everything is intuitive. Merc management, modifying weapons, navigating your inventory, everything is tuned so you can stay in the fun. Let's jump to satellite view so we can hit the road and check out that bunker. In sat view, you can travel, manage squads, run operations, and view sector stashes. Use the left stick to move your cursor and right stick to pan through the map. Holding L2 and pressing up and down on the D-pad lets you zoom in and out. If you need some time to think, simply pause the timeline by pressing down on the D-pad. Moving out and inspecting sector info is also easy. Pressing X over a tile brings up the travel options and sector info, and use the left stick to hover over different locations. Cancel out with circle, or initiate travel to a sector by pressing X again. Now that's enough menu navigation, let's get into some action. Combat in Jagged Alliance 3 has a lot of depth to explore, and we wanted to make it easier than ever to dive into the fun from your couch. Need to set up an ambush or split up your team? Easy as an active pause to issue orders and scope out the battlefield. Then unpause and let your orders unfold before you. Entering stealth mode quickly with R2 and Square lets you effortlessly influence how battles begin. There are plenty of controls that have been streamlined so you can manage your Merc's actions quickly. For example, one way to eliminate enemies is to select and prime targets for melee takedowns and then move in close for the kill. Or you can kill from a distance. Select your victims with the R2 and X, and you can jump between enemies with L1 and R1. Adjust your aim level with R2 and L2, and use the D-pad to select between maiming or killing shots. If you want to wait for the enemies to come your way, set traps with Overwatch by pressing R2 and Triangle, and let the mayhem commence on your enemy's turn. For any bad guys that remain, there are plenty of skills you can access with the action bar, from mobile shot to special abilities to explosives. Fidel is a big fan of the explosives, by the way. 
battle is all about defeating your foes. But what comes after is just as important. The loot. We made sure that finding, collecting, and managing loot is a seamless experience on Gamepad. Highlight interactables by pressing L3 and loot by hovering over and pressing X. You can take it all at once or easily distribute it to your different mercs. Open weapons options with square and you can quickly scrap, reload, give, or modify. The inventory is quickly accessible from the command menu or by pressing L2 and triangle. Now, we know this is a lot to take in, but don't worry, you don't have to memorize all of this right away. Pausing the game pulls up the button layout, and we've included button prompts throughout the game to help as well. Oh look, here's that machine gun the guy in Ernie Village was asking about. Maybe we'll just keep it though? So now we've shown you just how easy it is to walk, crawl, maim, and kill with the controller in Jagged Alliance 3. You've seen how to manage your mercs and in inventory, gather your loot, and carry out missions in your own way. But this is just the tip of the iceberg. There's plenty to discover in the world of Grand Chien, with enemies to, to defeat Pro, and allies to make. We hope you've enjoyed this quick look. Now all you need to do is figure out what your next move is.